ওয়েলকাম টু সুপিরিয়র প্রফিট উইকলি মার্কেট রাউন্ড আপ থার্টি এথ জুন টু থাউজেন্ড এইটিন আই এম সাগর নন্দী চিফ অ্যানালিস্ট অ্যান্ড ট্রেডার অ্যাট সুপিরিয়র প্রফিট বেস্ট ইন সিঙ্গাপুর আই উইল নট টেক টাইম টু ইন্ট্রোডিউস মাই সেলফ ইফ ইউ আর ইন্টারেস্টেড টু নো মোর অ্যাবাউট মি দ্য কোম্পানি সুপিরিয়র প্রফিট অর মোর ইম্পর্টেন্টলি হাউ ইট ক্যান হেল্প ইন ইয়োর ট্রেডিং ইউ মে ভিজিট দ্য ওয়েবসাইট সুপিরিয়র প্রফিট ডট কো অ্যান্ড ক্লিক অন দ্য অ্যাবাউট মেনু Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we will look at technical charts of oil and gold. These commodities tend to impact related stocks. Whenever we take a swing trade, we like to take it in the direction of the broad market. We assess the broad market's direction using market breadth of NASDAQ and NYSE and the technical charts of the four broad market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market, we like to align it with industry strength and weakness. We study the industry's rotation using industry scorecard and heat map. We'll go through this top-down analysis today. And along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's now move to live system. We begin our commodity study with oil. We are looking at oil ETF, US oil, using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together, we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. From the weekly chart, we can see that after several weeks of bearish candle color, oil had turned bullish one week ago and this week it again went up sharply making a new recent high. Activity for this week was heavy. In the daily chart we discussed in the last market roundup, price gave us a gap long trade opportunity on Friday. At that time it opened with a gap above a memory resistance line and continued to go up for that day. That gap long trade was pretty profitable. One could hold on to partial position at that time, looking at the bullish weekly candle color and shape, and also the strongly bullish candle in the daily chart at that time. The another way of entering oil in this week would have been when price went above the high of the gap move candle which would happen on this Tuesday. A long could be taken using real time chart right at the high of the gap up candle and by Friday it has gone up significantly giving us much more than the risk taken in the trade. At the right edge, oil is clearly bullish. However, we will not enter a new position in oil right now because it is already above the upper boundary lines. That is too overbought for us to take a new long trade. Now we are studying gold using the same at a glance template. We are using the gold ETF GLD. In the last market roundup, we discussed that gold continued to remain bearish 
this week it dropped more it came near the watermark support in weekly and also near the memory trend line support in weekly though couldn't reach those support levels this week ended with a small lower tail candle however the body is solid long solid body so overall the shape is bearish color is bearish magenta color in the daily chart it continued to drop this week there is no bullish signal in the daily chart it is already below lower boundary so we are not going to take any short trade there is no bullish signal like bullish headwind signal so we are not going to take any long trade either from commodities we move to broad market breadth study we are looking at nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume because this analysis is using broad indices and weekly interval it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading for last several weeks i had discussed the bearish divergence between nasdaq composite index and nasdaq new high low that divergence began 1 2 3 4 weeks ago the divergence seems to be playing out now nasdaq dropped this week and it displayed a bear release signal nasdaq candle color turned red that is bearish new high low declined further and turned negative the other two nasdaq internals went up both advanced decline and up down volume went up this is sending some conflicting signal when the new high low is going down and the nasdaq index itself is going down normally one would expect that advanced decline and up down volume also to go down that didn't happen they are sending conflicting signal what about nyse for several weeks nyse was moving within narrow range that continued this week this week it dropped little bit more on a closing basis however the week closed with a somewhat long lower tail it has a solid body as well therefore the shape is mixed the color is red that is bearish still looking inside the chart from the right edge we can see that it is moving more or less sideways for several months now for nyse all the internals declined this week that is in line with the drop of the index itself in summary from this data we can conclude that over longer term weekly period both nasdaq and nyse are in uptrend the uptrend will remain intact until these support memory trend lines are broken they seem to be providing very effective support especially for nyse where the price close is very close to the memory support level in terms of internals this week is neutral four of the six internals declined and four of the six internals closed in the positive the broad market breadth is sending mixed signal let us see what we can gather from the broad market etfs s&p 500 etf spy using at a glance template in the weekly chart 
price drop this way during the middle of the week it came close to the weekly memory support line however recovered somewhat from there and closed with a mixed candle shape that is a solid body as well as long lower tail in the daily chart price is now in downtrend it is showing lower high and lower low during the week it came to the lower boundary line recovered little bit and friday closed with a bearish shape candle the candle color was neutral yellow if next week price declines and gives us a magenta color candle that may give a low risk trend following go with flow short swing trade opportunity qqq nasdaq 100 etf using at a glance template 3 weeks ago in the weekly chart it broke above the watermark resistance level in the weekly chart breakout traders might be excited at that time and take many breakout long trades in q trading way we don't do that we are always cautious at watermark resistance level instead of trying to enter new positions we would be booking profit or protect our profit using trailing stop that was a wise approach one week later it had declined with a bearish shape candle and it also displayed the bear release signal that was last week we had discussed this bearish shape candle and bear release in last market round up this week it opened down and closed down as well during the week it went significantly down however recovered near the end of the week and closed with a mixed candle shape both with lower tail as well as solid body in the daily chart qqq had displayed a possible reversal signal the bearish edwin signal several weeks ago after that it effectively moved sideways and then declined the bearish headwind signal could catch the very top of qqq again in this instant on thursday price came to the yellow direction line tried to recover a little bit from there and friday ended with a bearish shape candle the weekly candle color is magenta therefore if price goes down next week and gives us a magenta color daily candle that could give a low risk go with flow short trade opportunity qqq was the strongest between spy qqq and dia and that also is turning bearish let's see what is the picture on dia Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA using at a glance template this week it continued the down move in the weekly chart precisely hit the memory support line and recovered somewhat from there again ending the week with a mixed candle shape with lower tail as well as solid body the weekly candle color is magenta in the daily chart it hit the lower boundary line and also the memory trend line support level recovered somewhat friday just like spy and qqq ended with a bearish shape candle because there is a memory support line nearby even if price goes down next way unless it opens below the memory support line we will not be taking a short trade in this etf 
Russell 2000 ETF IWM this was the strongest of the four ETFs it was going up sharply last week display a bearish shape candle though price closed almost at the same level as that of previous week this week IWM fell quite sharply with a bearish shape as well as bearish color magenta color candle in the daily chart it dropped and came close to the yellow direction line tried to recover little bit on Friday however Friday again ended with a bearish shape candle and in this case the color also remain red that is bearish the weekly candle color is magenta therefore if price goes down next week it may give a trend following short trade opportunity however one may be careful because there is a memory trend line support close to Friday's price if we combine the insight from market breadth and the market ETFs analysis we see that at the market breadth level there are mixed signals between the internal and the price moves we saw that NYSE market index is very close to multiple memory support lines and similar support is there in multiple broad ETFs as well DIA is supported by both daily and weekly memory support lines IWM by daily memory support line and SPY by weekly memory support line because many of the indices as well as ETFs are supported by memory support lines this may not be the right time to start taking short trade unless next week price breaks below these memory lines or even better if it gaps open below these memory support lines until then we may wait to see if price is recovering from the support lines and accordingly decide our trade direction from market ETF study we now move to sector analysis we are looking at four week sector performance of 11 sectors we are studying them across three review periods red bar represents performance of this week green bar performance of one week before the red bar and yellow bar performance of two weeks before the green bar together they give us four weeks or about one month of performance any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week 10 of the 11 sectors declined this drop shows a negative picture of the market at the sector level consumer discretionary reversed sharply I had warned about this sector since 16th June market roundup based on industry deceleration once again QH industry deceleration turned out to be the best predictor of future sector industry performance let's have a look at the snapshot that I shared in the market roundup of 16th June this was a list of the most decelerating industries in the market roundup of 16th June at that time I had observed that seven of the most decelerating industries were in consumer discretionary observing that I had warned about holding long positions in this sector and also warned against taking new long positions that was timely since then the sector gradually weakened and this week it turned significantly negative though at the sector level we can see widespread bearishness 
most of the sectors declined and the one sector that went up utilities went up by very small percentage still using q industry acceleration or industry performance you could identify and enter low risk long trades and those turned out to be profitable we'll review some of those trades while discussing the industry performance that shows that we are able to locate profitable long trades using industry analysis even if the market is generally turning bearish however that is not the most efficient approach if the market really turns bearish especially if it breaks below the memory support lines that we saw in nyse composite index and the market ETFs, then it will be wiser to take only short trades and avoid taking long trades that way we will be taking trades in the market direction and then we can align the trades further with industry's weakness and fundamental weakness and look at technical charts for a low risk optimal short point such trades will align most forces with the trades direction thereby giving us highest probability trades in the twist sense from sector analysis let us now move to industry analysis we are looking at the 10 best performing industries of this week we are looking at the industries 5 days and 10 days scores because many of these industries are retaining their strength from one week ago using industry scorecard and heat map q edge real time system or q scorecard offline system you could probably take profitable long trades in some of these industry oil and gas drilling is the best performing industry of this week it was strong last week as well in this industry tes bounced up from daily slow yellow direction line on 19th june and a bullish flow signal appeared on 26th june if we took the long trade using either the bounce from the yellow direction line or the 26 june cyan color flow candle we would book profit at the weekly memory resistance level that was nearby it still gave us reasonable reward risk ratio the weekly memory resistance was hit on this friday therefore one would book at least partial profit if not full profit at that time let us look at the best performing industries using q edge drill down to oil and gas drilling industry further drill down to pes fundamentals and then look at the technical charts to see how you could take a long trade in the stock with low risk and reasonable reward let's study that starting with q edge q edge studies hundreds of industries and it also studies the 11 sectors analyzes them and assigns scores and heat map across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days 5 days 2 days and 1 day let's look at the sector heat map and scorecard before moving to the industry level for any of the columns we can double click on the column header to sort by that column all the strong sectors or industries in case of industry scorecard are colored with cyan color with bigger scores and the weaker sectors are colored with magenta color with lower scores you can see that healthcare information technology also financials are the weakest sectors at present over five days period that is the last way and energy utilities consumer staples are the strongest sectors 
on top of that you can see that information technology that was very strong earlier has turned weak and is the worst performing sector at present we had highlighted this weakening of information technology in past few roundups you could see this weakening happening in real time using qa and protect profit in existing long positions and avoid taking new longs in this sector the same holds true for this week also information technology is the worst performing sector therefore q traders would probably avoid taking new long trades in this sector materials is an interesting sector it was weak earlier it was magenta over many past review periods over five days it gained strength considerably it accelerated and the acceleration is showing up as cyan color score over base five days column materials is the most accelerating sector of this week Later on, we will drill down into materials industries to see if the industries accelerated as well. Let's study the best performing industries. To get the best performing industries, we can sort over the five days period. The strongest industries come to the top. Oil and gas drilling is the strongest industry of this week. Best performing industries and from the cyan color of many previous review periods, you can see that this industry was strong for a long time. Let's drill down into the industry. These are the stocks in our scorecard in the oil and gas drilling industry. Let's sort them using EPS year over year percentage change of last quarter. We can see that PES is a stock that is having quarterly earnings growth for past three quarters. The colors are in bright green showing significant earnings growth for three successive quarters. The valuation primary column is in yellow color showing that it is medium valued. The short squeeze column is in cyan color showing that it has short squeeze potential therefore we had several factors from the fundamental point of view that supported taking a long trend let's now move to the technical charts few charts to see how we could take such a low risk trade using q signals this is pes last week we had a reversal candle price tried to go below the low of one week ago however reversed strongly ended with a bullish shape candle with very high activity looking at that one might start taking a long trade using daily chart in the daily chart we can see that there were two bearish headwinds earlier from where price dropped significantly once again the bearish headwinds could capture the very top of the price move after decline it came to the yellow direction line the yellow direction line can often act as a major support at the same time it displayed a bull release signal there are traders who often take a long trade in a stock that is fundamentally strong which was the case in this stock if price declines to a major support like yellow direction line and goes up from there they could take a long trade in this case they could also make the decision based on the factor that the industry was very strong at that time it also displayed the bull release signal from there price has gone up significantly the next opportunity to take a long in the stock 
came on this cyan color candle that was a possible go with flow long trade opportunity one could take long at the close of that day could stop just below recent low by friday price went up it didn't hit the upper boundary line however you traders are always watchful about any nearby memory trend line resistance in this case the weekly had a memory trend line resistance it is still there price closed very close to the memory resistance it tried to go above that but declined little bit closing just below the memory resistance line looking at that memory resistance line any long trade taken either on this yellow candle when the bull release signal appeared or any long trade taken on this cyan color candle would be exited with profit one would not hold full position one might hold partial position however memory trend lines often act as robust resistance therefore if partial position is held trailing stop will be applied in a way so that the entire trade is risk free from now onward in this case we could take a low risk entry in pes using the low risk buy points the fundamental strength that is short squeeze potential earnings growth medium valuation and also the industry strength copper is one of the best performing industries this week earlier we saw that materials accelerated heavily copper belongs to the material sector FCX in copper industry gave a reversal long setup on 26th June. One could take the trade using the bounce from weekly memory support line, a daily false downside breakout accompanied by a bull release signal combining these factors from weekly and daily chart. FCX went up since then and more than this amount was covered by Friday. Therefore, one could book partial profit or full profit. If partial profit is booked, trailing stop could be applied so that the entire trade is risk free from now onward. Let's look at copper industry and this time we'll drill down from the material sector. Look at the industry, see that copper is indeed one of the best performers. Drill down further, look at FCX from fundamental scorecard and finally look at its technical charts. This is the sector tab I sorted using the PACE column. Material sector comes to the top with the PACE score in cyan color showing that it accelerated most. Let's drill down to the materials sector industry. We can see that some of the industries are turning into strength after prolonged weakness. The scores were in magenta color earlier and turning cyan in the current week. From the base column, you can see that many of the materials industries accelerated. Copper accelerated and is one of the best performing industries of this week. Let's drill down into copper stocks. FCX is a stock that has medium valuation. Primary valuation is in yellow color and it has very nice earnings growth for the last three quarters. It is displaying earnings growth of 161%, 104% and 206% respectively in the past three quarters. Those are significantly large earnings growth. One year earnings growth is also positive. Very large percentage of 408 percentage. Earnings quality is high. Shown by the cyan color in earnings quality column. And it also has a short squeeze potential. 
using technical charts let's see how you could take a low risk long trade in fcx in the last few days this is fcx using at a glance template when we studied market breadth and broad market etfs we explained that if memory support lines are nearby we will avoid taking short trades from fcx chart we can see why we give that much importance to the memory support lines in the weekly chart one week ago fcx ended with a lower tail candle the lower tail tried to go below the memory support line but price was supported heavily and it recovered this week again price initially tried to go below the memory support line recover and close significantly above the memory support line using the existence of the memory support in weekly one could look for a long trade as price went down and came back to the memory support line around $16 in the daily chart that opportunity came on this yellow color candle it broke below the memory support then came back up creating a false downside breakout it was also accompanied by a bull release signal one could take a long trade right at the close of the yellow candle putting stop just below recent low by friday the highest price level the trade gave more reward than the risk taken one could book at least partial position why one would like to book at least partial position is because Q traders are aware of this trend line resistances as well. Trend line resistances are here both in the weekly chart as well as in the daily chart. Looking at that, one would book at least partial profit. The fact that the risk resistance was already covered would also encourage one to book at least partial profit. Interestingly, if we look back, we can see once again the bearish headwind signal in FCX could catch the very high. From there, price dropped heavily. The bearish headwind signal helped a long position holder to protect profit, and one could also take a swing short trade at that time or around that time, which turned out to be very profitable as well. In this manner, using the few signals the unambiguous checklist mixing the signals from weekly and daily charts one can easily take short trades swing trades short swing trade book profit and as soon as we have a long trade setup take a long trade and book profit in that as well few traders can benefit from both up moves and down moves of stocks in this manner Industrial conglomerates is one of the best performing industries this week. GE recovered once again after displaying a bullish headwind signal on 22nd June. I had shared that bullish headwind with some other traders while we were having a chat. You could see the bullish headwind coming on your chart as well and look for possible long opportunity. In fact, such an opportunity indeed came when GE broke above the trend line resistance that was there with a gap up move. That trend line is broken now because price could successfully close above that. Let's look at the industry, look at GE's fundamentals and finally look at GE's technical charts to see if there is any possible long trade in the next few days.
industrial conglomerates the QA heat map instantly shows that it was weak for a long time magenta color and in recent periods it has turned strong cyan it also accelerated heavily because the pace column is coming in cyan color let's drill down the stock vital statistics heatmap color instantly shows that GE is optimally valued the primary valuation is in cyan color also pays a decent dividend of 3.44 percentage the stock went up by 8.3 percent this week we can see that from the five days percentage change column let's look at these technical charts I mentioned that GE last week gapped up and opened above the trend line resistance this was the trend line resistance price gapped up above that we have a technique where a price gaps open above a trend line resistance we try to take a long trade using real time chart somewhere in the lower price range of that day a day trader could book partial profit a swing trader could continue to hold partial position next day it went up sharply came close to the memory resistance line because memory resistance line was nearby both in the daily chart as well as in the weekly chart the long position holder would be cautious we are always respectful of the Q signals certainly of memory resistance lines as well I calculated from the closing of this gap up candle to the high of the next candle was more than 5% after that price has pulled back little bit the candle colors in the daily chart are remaining green that is bullish the weekly candle color is cyan that is bullish as well therefore next week if it goes up in the daily chart gives us a cyan color candle that may give a very low risk trend following long trade opportunity if the go with flow trade opportunity comes below the memory trend line resistance then one might take the trade however keep a close eye on the stock using real time chart to see if it is able to break the memory resistance or is it reversing from there if it is reversing from there one would take small profit probably and exit and if it breaks above the trend line resistance one could continue to hold let's change the daily template to the template that we use for trend following trade entry to see how price went up precisely from the bullish headwind signal in case of GE as well let us look at both the weekly and daily charts GE dropped heavily as the industry was weak at the very bottom it displayed a bullish headwind signal from there price went up enough to give us one or few swing long trade opportunities then price tried to come down retest the watermark level support level that was created by the bullish headwind candle and this week it went up again from the same price level at the precise same point in the daily chart we had a bullish headwind signal looking at the bullish headwind signal at minimum any short position holder would protect profit or close the full position with profit and then price continued to go up both the weekly bullish headwind as well as the daily bullish headwind signals could catch the very bottom of GE this signal works remarkably well and we may use them to protect profit in existing trade and also take 
reversal traits with very low risk and large reward risk ratio provided the headwind trade setup unambiguous checklist conditions are met from best performing industries let's now move to the worst performing industries of this week unlike the best performing industries where we saw that the scores over 5 days and 10 days were around the same level for many of the industries here that is true for some industries like airlines, hotel resorts, cruise lines, silver, drug retail. However, some other industries like healthcare distributors, thrift, mortgage, finance, healthcare facilities, etc. has much bigger score over 10 days period. However, shrunk significantly in this week. In the trucking industry, CAR C -A -R, gave a trend following short on Monday 25th June. One could take the trade preferably using Q precision entry technique that is using 5 minute fine tune chart. This trade was hugely profitable, CAR dropped by 22% this week. Let's look at QA, see how the tracking industry was performing using the heat map and scorecard and then look at the car technical charts to see how one could take this hugely profitable short trade. In QA, we can sort the industries from worst to best performance by double clicking on the 5 days column. This is a toggle key. If you double click it first time, it will sort by best to worst performing industries. If you double click again, it will sort from worst to best performing industries. Trucking is the second worst performing industry of this week. We can see that it was weak for a while. It dropped by 22% this week. We will see if we could capture that profit using Q signal. This is car using at a glance template. Once again, amazingly, you can see that it displayed a bearish headwind signal in the weekly chart right at the very top. Price could never go above that, move sideways for a while, and then drop sharply. A few weeks ago, it tried to recover. Candle color turned from magenta to yellow. However, two successive weeks, we had candles with long upper tails. Looking at that, we would start to look for short trade opportunity in the daily chart. In the daily chart, we can see that it was in clear downtrend. Price came to the lower boundary line, recovered to the declining yellow direction line, fell somewhat to the white direction line, tried to recover again, displayed a very bearish shape candle. And that bearish shape candle bounced down from the yellow direction line and also from multiple memory trend line resistance levels very next day we had a large magenta color candle because we were looking at the weakness of the industry and the weakness of the stocks chart as well we could use the precision entry technique using q fine tune 5 minute chart and take a short trade in the upper price levels of this magenta candle. It fell heavily, hit the lower boundary and continued to fall below that. This stock fell by 22% this week and using the Q signals on the charts as well as the industry's weakness. 
you could capture most of their decline. This is a case where the industry is weak, one of the weakest. The chart patterns both in weekly and daily are very weak as well. Therefore, we wouldn't have any reason to exit full position. Partial profit could be booked and partial position could be held trying to let profit run. Healthcare distributors is one of the worst performers. CVS dropped by 10.8% this week. Probably after the news that Amazon is entering the drug retailing business. Amazingly, once again, the drop was preceded by a bearish headwind signal on 25th June. Therefore, if somebody was holding a long position in CVS, being alerted by the bearish headwind signal, one could book profit. Let's look at the CVS chart and see how the headwind signal could protect one's capital in this case. One second. This is CVS using at a glance template. In the daily chart, we can see that it displayed a bearish headwind signal near the top of the recent move. If somebody took a long trade when price broke above maybe this yellow direction line, they had significant profit by the time price came to the bearish headwind candle. Price also came close to the declining white direction line and to the watermark resistance level. Looking at all of those resistances and the possible reversal signal, one could book profit in the position, thereby protecting the equity from this very sharp drop. When the stock dropped, many people could start to short the stock. However, Q traders know better. They would know about the existence of the memory trend line support both in the daily and weekly and they will not short the trade on the news. Instead they would look for a possible bounce long trade setup. That bounce long trade setup hasn't come yet but if it comes on next Monday one might be happy to take the bounce long trade. Let's see from the Q scorecard if the CVS stock is fundamentally strong. If so, then that will add more reason to take a bounce trade setup long position if the setup indeed comes next week. In the stock panel, we can carry out a stock fundamental and peer analysis using few clicks. Let's look for the stock first, CVS. Instantly from the color coding, we can see that it is optimally valued. Primary valuation is in cyan color, pays a decent dividend of 3.1%. Earnings quality is robust, it is in cyan color, and its quarterly earnings growth is improving, changing from minus 5.7% to 12.3% to 26.5%. It is very close to 52 week low, just 7% away from 52 week low. Therefore, there are several fundamental reasons to try to look for a long trade in CVS. The drop after the Amazon's entry announcement might have been overdone. We will not blindly take a long position, we will wait for a proper Q trade setup. And if it comes next week, that will align the technical forces with the fundamental forces. CVS is in healthcare services. We could go to industry tab and filter for the industry or we could simply 
click the analyze button the magnifying glass to conduct a PR analysis as well as industry sector analysis the PR analysis shows that there are multiple optimal valued stocks that is primary valuation is in sand color in the same industry healthcare services let's see how many of them drop this way we can identify that by sorting the data on five days percentage change there are total 15 stocks in this scorecard in the healthcare services industry out of them 11 dropped the average drop was by minus 4.1 percentage CVS had the biggest drop however we can see fundamentally it is one of the best valued stocks very good earnings quality and increasing quarterly earnings growth therefore the huge drop may be overdone let's look at the industry and when we carried out the peer analysis QA automatically highlighted the industry this is healthcare services it is gradually declining that is not bullish let's look at the acceleration column there is not enough bullishness in the acceleration columns as well what about the most recent days let's open those up the most recent days that is two days and one day performance are very bearish as well therefore we have a stock where fundamentally we see significant strength technically it is at significant support level however the industry is weak what to do under such a situation if next week the stock continues to go up and if the industry also strengthens then it will create an ideal condition to take a low risk long position if the industry is weakening could one still take a bounce long trade setup one could probably still take it because the fundamentals are strong and we saw the other stocks in the industry didn't drop so much whereas CVS is fundamentally pretty strong one could ignore industry strength or weakness in this case to take the long trade however it is always good to be aware of the conditions under which one is taking the trade. If the industry strengthens, then that will create the best condition for taking a long in CVS because the industry strength, fundamental strength as well as technical strength will be in the trade's favor creating a proper Q360 degree trade. Let's look at the accelerating industries. They tend to be the best performing industries in subsequent weeks. We are looking at the 10 days and 5 days scores of the 10 industries that accelerated most. We can see three of them are in materials sector. They are paper packaging, forest products and commodity chemicals. In QA, there are total 16 materials industries this week nine of them are among the top 20 percent of all the accelerating industries so material sector as a whole accelerated that sector is the most accelerating sector of this week and many industries underneath that are also accelerating you may keep an eye on materials industries for turnaround by opportunities why turnaround because the sector and several of the industries were weak for a long time though it didn't come among the 10 most accelerating industries we saw earlier that copper also in material sector accelerated and copper we saw is one of the best performing industries this way 
and we already studied FCX which gave us a low risk and highly profitable trade. You may look for similar other trades in this accelerating industry. Decelerating industries, these tend to be the worst performers in subsequent weeks. We saw earlier how studying the decelerating industries alerted us about the possible decline of consumer discretionary sector and many industries inside that that turned out to be the best predictor of future industry move once again. This week also we see many of the most decelerating industries are in consumer discretionary sector. These are computer and electronics retail, advertising, apparel retail, laser facilities and automotive retail. We could be aware of their weakness long ago and they are continuing to show weakness this week as well. Computer and electronics retail is the most decelerating industry. This stock CONN reversed precisely from weekly memory trendline resistance and daily watermark pivot resistance. You could take a box short trade on either 15 June or 21st June both of which turned out to be very profitable. Let's look at the decelerating industries from QH. Look at the stocks in computer electronics retail in terms of fundamentals and then look at the stocks chart to see how you could take a low risk short trade. These are the most decelerating industries of this week. Their base scores are in magenta color. Computer and electronics retail is the most decelerating industry. It was very strong in immediate recent review periods. We can substantially with deceleration. Let's drill down. Con, this is a stock which has medium valuation. Valuation primary score is in yellow color. It is showing significant growth in the quarterly periods, last three quarterly periods. However, if we look at the yearly periods, we see it is still very much declining in earnings growth. Therefore, it had fundamental reasons that would allow us to take a short trade. Let's look at the technical charts. This is con. CONN using Q at a glance template, computer and electronics retail industry was strong in recent periods. In that period, CON also went up sharply. We can see this was earnings week, displayed a bullish headwind signal, went up strongly and closed very near the weekly memory resistance line. After that, for two successive weeks, it tried to go above the resistance level created by the memory resistance, however, failed. We had two successive weeks of bearish shaped candles. Closing price in both the cases were below the memory level. While that was happening in the weekly chart, in the daily chart, it came to this deep watermark resistance level, tried to go above it, however failed. We had a yellow color candle with a bear release signal at this point, by which time it created a false upside breakout. At a watermark resistance in daily chart, the up move was accompanied by very an extreme high activity bars and while the bear release signal came in the daily chart price was reversing from memory resistance in the weekly chart one could take a short trade right at the close of this candle put stop just above recent high after that price tried to recover a little bit and gave another bear release signal. 
that was an opportunity to take a short trade again if somebody didn't take the short trade already the second short trade could be taken around this price level since then price has dropped enough at least partial profit could be booked this is one case where one could take the short trade relying on the false upside breakout the bear really signal the fact that price went up very sharply and started to reverse in the daily charts and the fact that in the weekly chart for two successive weeks it tried to go above the memory resistance but failed and then it dropped sharply if you could take the trade you could book partial profit however the industry decelerated heavily the weekly candle shape is very bearish daily is also bearish so this is again another case where one would not have any reason to exit full position partial position could be held with stop in such a way that the entire trade is risk free from now onward interestingly once again in the weekly chart con displayed multiple bearish headwinds at the very top these bearish headwinds work pretty well and that is why just like any other q signal q traders take them very seriously it is not easy to try to calculate the turning point of a stock the q headwind signal probably does it better than any other signal that you might have seen isn't it <laughs> i think yes <laughs> apparel retail is one of the most decelerating industries we watched this industry for several weeks now it was weakening and once again bke is a stock that is starting to drop and it displayed very shadowy at the very top let's look at the stocks technical charts this is bke this was going up strongly the industry was very strong earlier this week it has displayed a bearish headwind signal however in the daily chart the bearish headwind signal came several weeks ago and so far it is able to catch the very top from there price drop try to recover retested the watermark resistance created by the bearish headwind signal and price dropped again at the right edge price broke below the memory support level this chart is pretty bearish we may not take a short trade right now a swing short trade because the stop loss will be little bit far away however the weekly candle color shape both are bearish weekly has a bearish headwind signal daily fell below the memory support with a red traffic light bearish color candle we could start looking for a low risk entry opportunity for a short trade either using the daily chart or using precise 5 minute fine tune chart if the industry continues to weaken this may allow us to catch the short at the very top let me summarize looking at the market break we get mixed signals the broad market etfs are generally turning bearish however several of the market indices and market etfs are at or near memory support levels those support levels work pretty well therefore we will be careful and not start taking short trades until we are clear that those supports are being broken instead if the broad market indices and etf start to go up from the support lines we could start looking for long swing trades instead at the sector level last week was very bearish most of the sectors declined heavily 
at the industry level we don't see many long opportunities there were several short opportunities that were very profitable and we saw time and time again how the reversal signal the headwind signal could catch the extreme high or low giving us very low risk trades that turned out to be extremely profitable by combining the market strength analysis the sector industry analysis using qa and the technical analysis using q charts in this manner you can always look for low risk and very high probability swing trade and you can also take long term investment using similar techniques that is all that i plan to share in today's session thanks a lot for joining have a great weekend and trade profitably